Time history analysis provides for linear and non-linear evaluation of dynamic structural response under loading, which may vary according to time function that we define. Dynamic equation can be solved by following method, model, and direct integration method. We will be using model time history analysis as per ASCI 710. Click on File, New Model and select Grid Only. First step is entering grid data and story data. In my case, I have 6 grid line in horizontal x direction and 5 grid line in horizontal y direction, 8 grid lines vertical z direction. Spacing of 5 meter in x direction and 4 meter along y direction and 3 meter along z direction. Now let's define material. Add new material. Select your region. Material type concrete. Ok. M25. Now let's define section property, add new property, select concrete, rectangular shape, name it beam, in my case size of beam is 230 by 500, depth is 500, that is 0.5 meter. 0.23 meter select material M25 concrete reinforcement and select design type beam only click on ok ok add new properties concrete name it section as a column Size 300 by 400, depth is 400 mm and point uh, 300 mm. Select material type M30. Now concrete reinforcement. Design type beam, beam only. Spacing of confinement bar is 230 mm center to center distance. Clear cover for confinement bar is 60 mm. Click on OK. OK. Now let's define our slab area section click add slab name the section as slab of 140 mm in my case select type membrane concrete material m25 click on thickness of membrane 140 mm bending of 140 mm click on ok ok and done now let's define load pattern 
name the load pattern as machinery load type dead and self if multiplier 0 add live load select type live add click on ok now now let assign the defined material to our structure select beam selecting the entire beam now assigning the load on a beam again select a entire beam assign the load frame load uniform distributed After calculating, we found that uniform load is 13.8 kN per meter. Machinery type. Load pattern as machinery. Click on OK. Apply. OK. Let's define slab. Click on slab. After assigning the slab, first we need to select the slab. After selecting all the slab, we will be assigning the load on a slab. Net area load, uniform load, dead load of 5 kN per meter square, apply OK. And also select all the slab and give a live load, give, to give a live load. assign area load uniform shell select load pattern as a live and uniform load as 1.5 kN per meter square apply ok you can see the load we have assigned to the slab by right clicking on a slab You can also see the load assigned to the beam by selecting and right clicking on the beam. It's 13 kN. Now let's replicate entire beam and slab to the rest of the floor. Select all the beam and slab, go and edit, replicate, increment of 3 meter on Z axis, number of 6, 
we have replicated over the entire beam and slab to the rest of the floor. Okay. Now let assign column to our building frame. Select quick draw. Select section type column. Assigning the column. To leave the draw tool, select, click on select mode. Now select the entire column, we will be replicating the co column. So click on edit, replicate. We will be replicating in negative y direction. So negative 4, number of Four. number of increment is 4 in our cases click on ok let's define mass source modify mass source from the element and additional masses click on ok Now let's define the support property. In our cases, we will be using a rubber isolator. Go to select section property, link support property, add new property, link support type, rubber isolator, name the pro now name the property as rubber isolator. Now directional property select u1, u2, u3 and non-linear for u2 and u3. Let's modify u1. Give effective stiffness of 1, 5, 5 times 0. Click on OK. Modifying u2, giving effective stiffness of 800. Non-linear stiffness. 2500 yield strength of 980 and post yield ratio 0.1 click on ok modifying u3 property give the same value as given to the u2 Click on OK. OK. We have defined our support property. Now let's assign our support property to the job. Click on draw. Draw one join link. Select ice rubber isolator and select a joint. We are assigning rubber isolator to our joint.
after defining our support joint let's define our function click on define select function time history function choose function type as form file add new function name the function as l centro select the file imperial valley in our case we will be using imperial valley will be given equal interval time of 0.1 second sorry 0.0.0.01 point point second number of line to skip in our case it is 4 so actual data starting from number 4 number of point per line is in our case it is 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 Let's display the graph. I have inputted the wrong value of equal intervals. Let's edit 0.01 second. Now display the graph. Total analysis time of 53 second. Display. Click on OK. OK.